Hi, welcome to this Mix 2.0 tutorial about dataset types for meta-analysis. Uh, Mix 2.0 can handle three types of datasets, and um, we're going to have a look at um, binary outcome datasets, continuous outcome datasets, and a generic outcome dataset. Um, let's start with a binary outcome dataset, and we'll only look at the uh, the essential columns which are the last six columns of the data set starting here with um, column D and ending with column I and we can see we have columns that start with G1 and columns that start with G0 and um, G stands for group 1 is typically the intervention group and 0 is typically the control group um, since we're dealing with the binary outcome, um, we're dealing with events. So that can be mortality events, um, death or survival. In this case, it's a recovery event and, um, to be specific, recovery from common cold. Um, so here we have R1, which stands for rate 1, which is the, the, um, the event count, so, or, or uh, more specifically, the number of people that had the recovery. Um, R0 is the, uh, the non-event or the people that did not have that event um, and N is the total number of subjects in that group. So for example if we have a look at study 2 we have um, 49 subjects that recovered, we have 97 subjects that did not recover uh, making a total of 146 subjects and the same continues for the control group. And that's really all there is to a binary outcome data set. A continuous outcome data set is very similar in the sense that it has columns for each group, but um, since we're dealing with a continuous outcome, uh, we can typically calculate a mean and a standard deviation for that, uh, and that's what you need to enter in the data set. So here we have uh, G1M, which is the mean of group 1, uh, G1SD, which is the standard deviation for group 1, and G1N, which is like in the binary data set, um, <coughs> um, the number of subjects of that group. And we repeat that again for the control group. Um, a generic outcome data set is a little bit different in the sense that we do not have columns for each group. Uh, that doesn't mean that um, there weren't, we did not have those two groups, but um, the difference between those two groups has already been summarized with a, um, a measure, a typically a measure of association, or you might actually be dealing with one group and um, the data in that group is, is summarized via a measure um, and its standard error. Uh, you will need a measure that has a um, standard error or a variance, which is a square of the uh, which is square of the standard error. Um, so you, you need a measure that is normally distributed. Um, in this case, we have the log of the odds ratio. It could be the log of the risk ratio, or it could be a a mean difference. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you uh, you can calculate the standard error of that measure. 